Now guys, let's proceed to the problem number 5. We already solved the problem number 4 on chapter 2 in our previous video. So let's continue guys. So let's read. Solve problem chapter 2 number 4 with force is equals to 350 pounds. So the only thing that has changed guys is the magnitude of our force. So let's again use this triangle guys. So the angles guys remains the same. This is 45 degrees and this is 60 degrees. So this resultant force or F has now changed into 350 pounds. This side right here is our force AB and this side right here is our force AC. Now let's find the magnitude of force AB and force AC. Again guys, let us use the law of sine. So look, looking again at our triangle, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So let's subtract 180 minus 45 minus 60, we can get the value of 75 degrees. Now we can use the law of cosine guys. So let's solve first this force AB. So we can use the sine of 60 degrees since this is the opposite angle of our side AB. So sine 60 over force AB or you can make this guys as force AB over sine 60. It's up to you guys. So sine 60 over force AB is equals to sine 75 over its opposite side 350 pounds. So force AB is equals to 350 sine 60 over sine 75. Thus, we can get the value of our force AB equals 313.80 pounds. So that is the value of the magnitude of force AB. Now let us get the value of our magnitude of our force AC guys. So the opposite, the opposite angle of our side AC is 45. So let's use sine 45 over its opposite side force AC is equals to sine 75 over its opposite side 350 so for force AC or the magnitude of force AC is equals to 350 sine 45 over sine 75 so the magnitude of force AC is equals to 256.22 pounds and that is how we can get the magnitude of the two forces guys using as F is equals to 350 pounds so this is now our answer guys